T105.1, you're welcome to join ladies. How are you Good doing? Ladies. Very well, thank you. Yeah. Glad to be on the program today. Tell us what happened. Any traffic coming to work today? Uh, well, a bit. So I was a bit um, scared on the CMD road. But you uh -huh. moved. Ah, don't be don't scared. You're not used to our area. Coming from GRE <laughs> to... Yeah, to this area. Oh, my God, this is not bad at all. No, no, it's not bad. I don't live on the island. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> good to have you on the show. Thank you. Wake it in the building. Hey, looking morning, all purple morning. today. What's happening? Is it a B or something? No, no, no. Actually, it was uh, my former sister in Funke, Maria's mom, that bought this one. Ah. It's beautiful. You know, so. Did you call her former sister in law? Yeah. How did you call her sister in law? <laughs> Ex sister in law. She's, she was family's wife. You Just know. say sister in law, doesn't matter. You don't have to put the former in it. Okay, she's Maria's mommy. Yeah, my yeah. mother's mommy beautiful. <laughs> I don't know where, how, whether her or family would be happy if I called her my sister in law. So I, I have to be politically correct. <laughs> yes. So, yes. But today is Shemo's birthday. So happy yeah. birthday, Shemo. Oh. It's it's international brand. Today. Oh, 41. Oh. Yeah, he's going to the beach and, I, and he was telling me, I, I said, you can't give me 24 hours. I'm an old woman. You can't give me 24 hours notice. Okay, I'm old. <laughs> you have set the buff. Give me one week's notice. So that you prepare. So I will prepare. Yeah. Hmm. So a beach. But manage the 24 hours notice now. Eh? Manage. So you have to manage 24 hours notice. I know, notice. I know. This one, make this it one beach. I don't even have driver. You <laughs> come and drive inside that <laughs> traffic. Oh, the Ajulu entered it today. Oh, oh God, I saw my eyes. Oh, oh, my God. God. Nothing is taking me to the island. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I mean, honestly. Uh, uh, no, God. no, yes. God. God will help you. No. Elijah, Nima Akashat, Ziviri, how are you doing? Fine. You have to tell me you like the way I call your name. You're pretending as if you don't like no, it. No, it's Elijah. Like yeah. that. So I, I, I want to start to tap into it. Yes, so. Because mm. Aj is, I pray Aj is calling me. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm really calling Aj. Aj has been calling you for years. No, Aj hasn't called me. If he calls me, everything will work. So my dream is to go on the Hajj with my husband. Oh, I don't want to go in. My parents Amen. went together. It's safer. So, it's small. Oh, look after your kids. My kids. They'll be fine. These kids that I have, when Yala Lee has, has not gone back to Shagam, <laughs> <laughs> they'll be fine. So, um, well, I, would, I, would, I would love that. That's the part that I always look out for. Yeah. When the Alaja is sweet. It's but in my family, also, there's a trend. We go on the hard, but we don't get called Alaja. Yeah. Yeah. Don't put the goal to no, no, just the worship and come yeah, as, a, as a young Muslim girl, I used to dream of having a goal to like one day, you know, it was one of those things like the little girl, like, ah, I want to go because all your aunties have it. <laughs> once they enter, I need it. You don't have to go, you have to just. <laughs> But I'm sorry, I've given Christian. Just went it's up. Big I had an opportunity to have a goal too, but my brother said, ah, any day thieves catch you, they will just pull. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> oh, more. I see. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is it because Mr. Tai had, you know, Mr. Tai went on. Uh, so he has a goal to. Oh, for guys, guys yeah, do that. I don't even know men do it. Oh, they do. Men do. Yeah, I thought it was only women. I never so I had a root canal therapy and I had an option to pick for when they wanted to crown my teeth. Uh, my tooth to pick um, either the gold or the yes. regular color that you wouldn't mm. see. So it was an option at the time. Yeah, how are you doing? I'm grateful to God. Uh, gratitude okay. challenge day yes. 11. Nice. And today we are grateful for your view TVC. Hey! <laughs> Better be. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> grateful cool. for the platform. Grateful for our MD here. Yeah. Grateful for the MD Mama. Yes. So. Of your I've been forgetting. <laughs> grateful <laughs> for you. Please don't forget. The forget. cameraman. <laughs> well, okay, now let me say my gratitude. Exactly. Let's have a look at the cameraman. You know, the makeup. everyone, the makeup artist, the hairstylist, everyone. The producer. That, producer. The pro, you know, I've mentioned the producer. Oh, they know now. You want me yeah. to collect yeah. <laughs> You know, I'm just grateful for the whole team and how okay. they work together yeah. to give us this platform to shine. I love your outfit. This is you. Thank 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 you. Yes, now all our heads and, you know, our bosses. <laughs> we are Andrew. grateful. Why Do I have That's to enough. make a list? I don't understand. <laughs> Mr. MD Mama, give us this. What's up? Anyway, so MD Mama. MD Mama, what's going on? I have to hear you now. Like, I'm just telling this nonsense. I don't like this thing. I don't like I've been mama. Forgetting. I'm not a mama. I'm a babe. Okay, MD babe. MD babe. MD. Oh, no, you MD. Hey. Oh, MD. 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 Hey. Uh, MD babe. MD babe. Ray. The liberal. MD babe. MD babe. MD brown. That's when it's when we come back, we go through the front pages of the paper. Stay with us, we'll be right back. <laughs> right. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. We're going to start with the nation. EFCC quizzes 10 officials of humanitarian ministry. Airtel to build Africa's largest data center in Nigeria. Obaseki not backing me. Painful, says Sheibu. Shareholders lose out in Cadbury's loan conversion. 
YCBN SAC Board of Union, Keystone Polaris Bank, and Christian Pilgrims Now for Rome and Greece. Okay, which story are we starting with? Mr. Major, headline. Major headline, please go ahead. Okay, so the SEC <coughs> has, you know, invited ten officials of the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs, ten civil servants within the ministry, as part of their ongoing investigation of the affairs that happened within the ministry under um, the suspended minister Beta Edu and her predecessor um, Sadia Omar Farouk, and the national coordinator of the National Social Investment Program, Alima Shiu, presently ongoing with the EFCC. And so some of the civil servants, as expected, are already saying, no, we, we tried to flag it down, but they didn't listen. We just followed orders. Um, some documents were said to have assisted the detectives in the ongoing profiling of 12 companies that were awarded 3 billion naira for consultancy services mm. by the ministry also. So they have you know, been going to the ministry, getting documents, investigating. The ICPC also probed the scam and submitted its preliminary findings right. to the EFCC investigate, to assist in the investigations, and they said they recovered <coughs> $20 billion out of, as part of um, the investigation. Um, um, also, some chiefs, executives of some banks were invited. They mentioned them, and um, Jai's Bank, as well as um, um, Zenith Bank, have you know, joined their agenda. Jai's, on their part, said, they followed due process. Yes, an account was opened for, by, for them by the ministry, but no, no amount of money has been deposited in that right. account as of now. While Zenit Bank on their part said it is rumor flying around that their MD right. or their CEO was being detained at the ESCC. Okay, let's take another story, Nation. Okay, I wanted to take the um, Philip Sharibu. He says he's hurt and sad that uh, Governor Godwin Obaseki is not uh, supporting him in the Edo elections for the primaries. Uh, the governor is supporting a Lagos-based lawyer, Asue Igodalu, who is an indigenous of Edo state. Um, he says um, that him and Obaseki were in this fight together. Mm. They were supposed to fight Godfatherism God together. And he, now uh, Obaseki is now going against that mm. and he's doing that that he he staked so much to follow Obaseki at that time he went against his own godfather Ushimoni Ushi yeah and uh, he lost 20 percent he lost 20 percent of his political capital in Edo North Senatorial District How did he to support calculate that 20 percent uh, <laughs> I, I don't know no if he says it's safe I think it's an understatement of what he lost mm. um, Ushimoni has continued to control Edo North in fact, even though the state was a PDP state, he got re-elected mm. to represent that constituency in the Senate. So but I guess it's just a spiritful that Obasek is not supporting mm. him. He says that yeah. he supported him, his second-term bid, with his structure, mm -hmm. all, his, all his vehicles, finances, for them to get a ticket of the PDP. And he contributed okay. financially. So I think he just feels very hurt and betrayed. Right. Yeah. So the chief the executive officer of Airtel Africa, Shegun Ogusoya, uh, said that um, Airtel Nigeria will build one of Africa's largest data centers in Nigeria. And um, he said this, you know, where, while he was addressing reporters at the State House in Abuja after meeting with President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. You know, he had gone ahead to loud the president's policy reforms, which according to him has worked very well. And he, he said he went to the villa to thank the president and also hold some private uh, discussions with him. And um, he commended the efforts of the president to stabilizing the Forex and, um, you know, he said they had for a long time Forex exchange crisis, though it's not been completely achieved, but there's been a balance somehow and it's aiding their businesses. So he was really very appreciative of some of the policies that the president had taken. He said about um, six or seven months ago, he had come to discuss the operational environments of business, you know, in Nigeria generally, and a few things were changed. It's not perfect yet, but it's a step in the right direction, and it's mm. aiding their business that they have procured the land, and very soon they will be doing the groundbreaking in a few weeks. And so um, Airtel is going to be, you know, offering uh, the largest data center in Nigeria mm. and would also support other multinational businesses. So I think this is a good one. <laughs> okay. Congratulations. Cadbury Nigeria is having serious problems concerning the... Um, the four X they have, so they are owing 7.7 .7 million dollars, and the current, the recent liberalisation of the foreign exchange market in June 2023 has put serious pressure um, 
on their on their own value. So there, according to Cameroon Nigeria, it said that it was facing challenges servicing the foreign currency denominated costs and loans due to persistent foreign currency scarcity in the country. So right now, what they plan to do is they're offering to sell 402 million ordinary shares of 50 Kobo each to the card bishops overseas as a swap for the outstanding $7.7 million. It's really serious pressure. Many companies are having this problem because yeah. of the debt mm. that they're having. Okay, moving on quickly now to the punch. Major headlines, CBN Sachs mm -hmm. Union Bank, Polaris Keystone Banks and Boards. Marketers to meet Dangote over fuel supply. COVID-19 not over. 10,000 deaths recorded in December, says WHO. Sex for Max suspended, Unical done. Still in prison over after the 250 million naira bill. Somolu hails a $10 one billion security donation. About some just ex-minister Agunloye um, arraigned for $6 billion Mambila contract. And Edu EFCC quizzes top ministry officials, ICPC recovers $50 billion. Major headline, won't take that, Dodger. <coughs> the Central Bank of Nigeria has sadly dissolved the boards and um, the boards and management of Union Bank of Nigeria, Keystone Bank and Polaris Bank. Mm. Um, why did this happen? It is because of an alleged um, corporate governance infractions and non-compliance with the regulatory requirements. Mm. This came though barely three weeks after the special investigation on CBN and uh, um, related entities Jimmy Obazi submitted its final report to the president, mm. Bola Ahmed Tinobu. The sacking of the board, though, um, is reportedly part of the implementation of that report that was submitted of the special investigator. But it is worthy to note that um, the CBN has, however, assured the public of the safety and security of depositor, depositors' funds, yeah. stressing yeah. that it remained resolute in fulfilling its mandate to uphold a safe and sound um, trust, robust financial system right. in Nigeria. Meanwhile, the CBN um, um, statement is silent on Titan Bank, Titan, Titan Trust Bank. Bank. Yeah. Um, even though you know the bank has reportedly acquired Union Bank, mm. for some reason they are quiet about you know what I think they also done. sacked you know the um, yeah Titan Union Trust. Bank yeah, yeah. yeah no just Union Bank you and know they they're supposed to, they didn't okay. talk about Titan okay so just Union Bank okay let's pick one more story in punch before we're going to break why yeah. the, okay. um, the human interest yeah the uh, dean the suspended dean of faculty of law of the University of Calabar Cyril Indifon Indifon have was granted bail but he hasn't um, received the bail they, um, the judge said the, he could go on self-recognition uh, and his lawyer could um, take him because he had to go for an eye surgery. He hasn't received the bail, but um, hopefully, maybe he hasn't perfected his bail conditions. I don't know. He didn't say that. But uh, the ICPC alleged that on October, he had used his office to solicit nude photographs and videos from female students. Mm. Um, he corruptly changed a student's project supervisor for favorable grades, requesting for pictures of prospective students as an inducement for um, admission and several others like right. that. I remember we took that story when that thing happened. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go on a short break. When we come back, we continue with our review. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. We're still reviewing Punch. Um, BC? Oh, yes, I have a good story. The World Health Organization uh, yesterday warned that the coronavirus disease is still a major threat. In, and despite uh, partially you know, passing under the radar, it's still there. The United Nations also uh, noted that almost 10,000 COVID-19 deaths were reported in December. 
and the data from various sources was pointing to an increased transmission during the Yuletide uh, season because a lot of people came you know, together. And they are saying that the JN.1 uh, variant is now the one that's commonly reported across mm. the globe. So they said, although COVID-19 is no longer a global health emergency, the virus is still circulating, changing, and killing. And um, aside from the 10,000 deaths reported to the World um, Health Organization last month, there was also a 42% increase in hospitalizations and a 62% increase in intensive care unit admissions compared to November. So the increment was more in December. And the you know, data were based on what it had gotten from different countries, mostly in Europe and in America. Mm. And so um, they are saying, <coughs> though they do not have the reports of other uh, uh, countries on the increase of COVID-19, but we must begin to take precautions because Aye. it's still very much alive, though it doesn't make the news as such, but we must be careful so that we don't you know, bring it back again. Nima? Okay, so I have the marketers, um, all marketers meeting with Dangote over for supply. So the independent marketers, um, of patrol, I'm trying to get their full names quickly. I've met with the, that's the Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria, met with Dangote Industries, according to the punch in the beginning. And, you know, they're discussing distribution of petroleum products across the country. The, the refinery that has a 650 billion per day um, capacity requires 6 million barrels to start production. They said they've only re received a million, but they've, you know, they start, started disbursing. Um, they say ultimately by... Uh, January, they will start having, you know, products out. Yeah. But um, one of the officials of Dangote refinery, <coughs> uh, refinery said the meeting will hold that it has not held yet. I'm hoping that they hold that meeting and, you know, it sorts out the uh, independent marketers and, you know, we can focus on major marketers and NMs. Okay, so the governor of Lagos State, Mr. Babajide Sonwelu, on Wednesday received a donation of a billion naira from a renowned philanthropist and entrepreneur, Mr. Femi Otedola. Um, to support the state security architecture in Lagos State. The governor received the donation in the company of the chairman, LSSTF, Mr. Ken Dedro Simieti, and the executive secretary, also Dr. Abdurazak Balogun, and other state officials. Uh, what said the chairman um, of um, Geregu Power Plant, uh, when the son of the third republic governor of Lagos State, was represented by his daughter, Olawumi Otedola, and they were there to present the governor with that fat check. So, speaking on behalf of our father, Lao Mi commended to Sonwelu and the state, uh, Lagos State Security Trust Fund, uh, for their hard work in keeping Lagos safe and advised the fund to continue in its culture of transparency and judicious use of resources. Of course, our governor was quite pleased and he said that he was really thankful and um, celebrated um, the, uh, the philanthropist. Let's go to the next. Um, Paper now, Daily Sun, CBN kicks out five banks board. Focus on restructuring Nigeria in one year, we asked Tas Tinumbu. Unilag, Prof Sun recalls 5.0 CGPA. Imo said for Uzodima's second term inauguration on Monday. Newly refurbished forensic lab will enhance NDLA's performances, Marwa. Supreme Court affirms Fintry's victory as Adamawa governor. And Southeast APC tackles Saludo or T over suspension and arrest of traditional rulers. Okay, which story are we starting with? Unilag. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Son of, the, of a professor of, at the University of Lagos, Unilag Akoka, David Uluwatomiwa Akomu, has recorded a perfect score of 5.00 cumulative grade point average. Ooh. Yes, indeed. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Fantastic. To emerge the overall best for the 2021 to 2023 academic session. Uh -huh. Excellent, right? Yeah. The Vice Chancellor, Fola Shade Ogunshola, who disclosed this at the pre convocation briefing, said that the university produced 340 first class graduates and, th and 97 from the Faculty of Management Sciences and 57 and 47 from the Faculty of Science with 57 and faculty of engineering respectively. She revealed that uh, 39 students obtained distinctions from the College of Medicine in different courses. 
Fantastic. Good news. That's very yeah. well, good. The son of a professor. I'm not surprised. Yeah, anyway. yeah the son of a professor. Because some teacher, two story, two story. Exactly. Yeah, so so it's, it. it's expected. Well yeah, done. Well yeah. done. Yeah. So the NDL is celebrating the donation of um, a forensic lab or the upgrade of their forensic lab by the United States Bureau of International Narcotics and Law Enforcement Affairs, INL. Um, Femi Beba Femi, the spokesperson of the NDLE, was there representing the uh, boss, and he said that you know, the facility um, would, of course, improve their services. He said with the facility, they are now anticipating provision of state-of-the-art analytical equipment, which will enhance optimal uh, performance in line with the standard operational laboratory procedures and best practices, which in turn, of course, will enhance evidence-based analytical processes in their forensic analysis. This is a welcome one, but um, the part where they are still waiting for donation of equipment is what worries me. I think we should be investing in that already. Yeah. Vanguard, quickly, CBN Sachs Board Management of Union, Keystone Polaris Banks. Suspension, PEMSEC takes over humanitarian ministry from Beta Edu. Economic reforms, NECA analyst experts align with World Bank on ease of inflation. Retired civil war soldiers protest on paid 44 years pension in Oyo. Tax waivers on imported mining equipment, others underway, says federal government. Alleged 6 billion naira fraud, ex power minister Aguloye, ducked, remanded in prison, so Inka raises alarm. Okay, which story are we taking? Uh, let's take the protest by retired civil war soldiers, and they've been protesting on paid 44 years pension. This happened in all your state. It said hundreds of Nigerian retired soldiers who defended the country during the 1966 civil war yesterday took to the streets of Ibado or your state capital over unpaid pensions since they retired 44 years ago. The ex-servicemen um, had their placards with varying inscriptions and they were saying that they deserve, they, 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 they were asking if they deserved what has been going on or what they have been going through after defending the country with their blood. So they had to speak with journalists at the state headquarters in Ibadan. The national coordinator of the retirees, Baba Wande Philip, retired, was the one that lamented the painful aspects of their situation. And they said that the perceived enemies who fought against the country at the time have been paid by the former president, Olushegu Obasanjo. And while they who defended the country with all sorts of bullet wounds are still languishing in pain and sorrow. So a few of them you know, you know, talked to uh, the press about it, and they said that um, they had fought, they've been deprived of their pension rights. In 2015, they asked them to do a capturing in Abuja, where all of them were issued a certificate of, um, you know, uh, genuine um, um, service, so they were um, acknowledged to be genuine. They were acknowledged <laughs> to really have served the country, and they have the certificates, but till then, or till now, they have not gotten anything out of it. They said over 100 of them have died, no money to take care of themselves. Uh, some of them are already physically challenged. There was one who became blind 20 years ago. He said all his family members are dead. There's nobody to take care of him. And yet he cannot even receive you know, his pensions from the work that he mm. had done. Uh, some of their widows were there too, who said their husbands have died. They are mm. suffering, their children are suffering. There's no hope, and they are going to continue fighting for this with mm. the last drop of their blood till the government attends to them. I think okay. the government should do the needful. That's so, very sad, sir. Yeah. Very yeah. sad. Really, really sad indeed. Yeah. The Federal High Court in Abuja um, yesterday remanded the former Minister of Power and Steel, Olu Agunloye, in Kuje Correctional um, Service over an alleged $6 billion fraud in connection with the Mambila hydroelectric power station. We've been on this Mambila forever. Well, he pled not guilty. He, plead, he pleaded not guilty uh, in front of the judge. Some of the allegations, according to the EFCC, said that um, he was arraigned on seven counts of, of, of a fraud, of broadening and fraudulent award of contract. Also alleged that on May 22, 2003, he awarded a contract titled construction of 3,960 megawatts Mambila hydroelectric power station on, on, on a bill, operation and transfer basis to summarize power without any budgetary provision, approval, and cash backing. The, the EFCC also said, by so doing, the ex-minister violated Section 22, Subsection 4 of the Corrupt Practices and Other Related um, Offices Act of 20, um, 2000. Okay, let's move on quickly now to the final paper for this morning. You did mention that you can raise an alarm. 
Oh, oh yes, I didn't get to that part, but go ahead, you have that, that part yeah, of the story. Yeah, um, Professor Shoneka raised an alarm saying the, that they shouldn't put him in Kujie prisons that, uh, so that the fate of Bola Ige doesn't happen to him, that they've been investigating uh, the death of Bola Ige and that well, he feels that it's because of that. Mm. that really? That, I yeah. don't know. Okay, the Nigerian Tribune, our final paper, let's find a story of not taken at all. Army redeploys 975 officers, cancels 120 postings. Amotekun arrests two, caught with human head body parts in Shaki. Caught to deliver judgment in suit seeking to stop elections from holding on Saturdays. Attack on a Koko. Kogi government arrests six. Prospective court members now to register with NIN. And um, Shoyinka raises the alarm as court remands Agunlui in Kuche prison. That's what you just talked about. Okay, let's take one story or two stories. Yes. Um, the, the, this uh, human head. Teku, the body parts, mm. you know, they, they've uh, arrested, the Amoteku have arrested two boys, 32-year-old Adebisi and 35-year-old Abdullahi for um, possession of a human head or, and human body parts. What had happened? was this guy, his car broke down, so he was wanted to do the tire. When he looked under, he saw a cellophane bag, brought it out, it was human head Jesus. inside. It wasn't so, his own car that he was fixing? It was, was his it? own car now, he was trying okay. to okay. change the tire. And uh, so he raised the alarm, but, ah, see human head though. So they now went to a house where this uh, ADBC was, he was doing it. when they looked inside, they found human body parts and mm. uh, uh, different parts of mm. human and animal bones. And wow. Yes. They went to the other one. The other one is a uh, ritualist. <laughs> then <laughs> they, they now uh, traced that head to a young boy who had been buried a few hours before. Wow. When they got to the graveside, the family were just cementing. Mm. Side. Oh mm. my God! Horrible. You know, Horrific. So young, twenty-eight year old. The family were even sad when they said, "Wait, first." Is this the head? The oh God! Head Father in heaven. Of They're such weekend. And, and the family was so distraught. And weekend, weekend. Hey, we have to wrap up now. But uh, I'm happy that um, the NIN. So they actually, the NIMC are going to be partnering with the NYSC to ensure that every core member expected to register for mobilization with their NIN. And this was part of the deliberations during the meetings of NYC management and the um, National Identity Management Commission, led by its Director General, um, Abiso Ekoka Odushose in Abuja on Wednesday. Um, the NYC DG said that the collaboration with NIMC on core mobilization would strengthen the online registration process and the scheme. If you recall, the um, investigative journalist who ended up doing is becoming a core member through the using getting a legal um, um, a degree from from the from the schools doing the degree mill scandal mm. so obviously NYC is trying to tighten that process to ensure that nobody can just come and serve without proper um, documentation identification okay that is all we can take on front page review when we come back it's Thursday is our gisting day we have a guest co-host today and we're talking about some very juicy topics stay with us we'll be right back Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. As I said, Thursday is our talk days, and uh, today we we decided to have a conversation concerning premarital sex. And the reason why it was important to have this is because in recent times, even in the past few years, you've had so many stories from couples who said that they wanted to adhere to the custom of not getting into marriage with, well, with premarital sex. Or well, after they enter, they now realize either the spouse is unable to fulfill their marital obligations in the room, or they are impotent, or something happens where he, can, he or she can't even be adequately effective. There are different issues women go through, men go through in marriages, just because of that singular rule. Don't do it before marriage. 
Now, what are your thoughts? Should we begin to modify this rule? Many of us are religion. Uh, our religion um, doesn't allow us to do it. And we've also found that even within our religion, there are people who are frustrated. I know a story of a woman who was kept herself as she should have, got into marriage and found that, that the man was unable to... He, I think he, either he didn't have... Or something, there was some, something like that. Or, he was, he, or something crazy. I can't remember the details anymore. But the point is that this deception that we talk about all the time, should we begin to encourage young, responsible um, adults to engage in this practice so that they are well, there's full disclosure before they enter marriage? Or should we continue to uphold that singular rule of don't do it before marriage? Please call us on the numbers on your screen, 081 076-416790902416340. You can also tweet to us at TVC Entertainment on the score using the hashtag your view on TVC. Uh, we'd love to read your tweets. Ladies, who'd like to go first? Uh, Nimbusi, you want to jump in here? What are hey, your thoughts? My thoughts are not for the public. <laughs> yes, because I have two daughters. Mm. And I have seen, I have been opportune to handle cases of, you know, people not having sex and then they got married and what they saw was not what they were expecting to mm. see. And I had two cases very close to home. Mm. One was a friend, another was a family member that the marriage is no longer working. And when this was happening, I was just asking myself, if one of my daughters mm. comes to me tomorrow and say, ah, mommy, okay, what do you think? There's this, this guy that I like and we're, but you know now, what do you think? Should I try? Should I? Because mm. I have mm. open conversations with her and I'm expecting that at that time she won't be secretive all of a sudden. Carefully. She will still, yes. How would I respond? To tread carefully. On this thing, I want uh, to say, I'm not even answering you. Uh, no, just uh, relax. I got, I got my head on yeah, guy, this no. morning. <laughs> so what will I mm. tell her? Mm. You know, I was processing my head. I even had a conversation with my husband. I said, if your daughter okay. comes to us and says, what will you say? He said, hmm. Everybody. It's the kind of things we have seen. Mm. Hey, do we say, mm -mm, according to the scriptures, is it says, 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 or do we say, mm, use your head? Till today, I can't answer. Exactly. And I'm dreading that day because exactly. I know it will come. Exactly. They are growing up and they will have that conversation. Exactly. What I would advise is, let your intuition guide you. Exactly. Right? Um, do not get into the relationship because of what your people have said, people around you have said, what your pastor has said, what your mother has said. You are a full-blown spirit. You can have your own guidance. There are some people who did not... Um, do anything before they got into a marriage relationship. There are some people that were married on this table now. There are some people that were married from their father's house. Mm. Some people had to go to uh, school to meet mm. their husband. Other people had to hang out at mm. events to meet their... Do you understand? Some people married as virgins. Right. Other people did not. Mm. But that was, that's not the crux of the conversation yeah. in their marriages today. That's yeah. not what is holding the marriage, whether the marriage is successful or not. Mm. So go with your leading. It's not busy that will tell you what okay, to do. So, Me, I know what I will um, tell my daughter. You see, we are adults, I wonder right? what you yes, tell her. We are, we are, we are adults wondering. now, mm -hmm. Waiki, and we are smarter, we are more exposed, mm. we have information. Mm. But don't compare us to a 20-some-year-old girl who goes to church, mm -hmm. her entire life is morning after she's going to clinical service, midweek service, mm. and she's back-to-back -back hearing, do thou do shalt not. Mm. So she's not a state where she, she dare not. And many of them have been so devoted yeah. to their religion and they choose that, make that choice. They now enter it and they're like, oh my goodness, this guy is... So my question is, is this, and I, I've asked it before in the past, before you answered it, is this thing called, this thing called intimacy, mm. is it extremely important? It is. Why do they talk like Extremely this important in a marriage? Yeah, is it course. like, come, no, but their marriages do it without it and they're okay. Are they? Are we the one overwhelming? No, you'd be surprised. No, we're not. Sex yeah, is we are very, over. no, sex is very are they really essential. Okay? And mm. it's there a very important part of a relationship okay. of a marriage. They think they're okay. Of a marriage. They're not okay. We know no, they're not okay. We can't even undermine the importance <laughs> of sex yeah. in a marriage, Mariah. We can't. It's very important. Like you rightly said, if I pick it from where you mm. stopped, yeah which is talking about the church girl, yeah. you know, and all of that. Yes, I, I will stand by it for, yes, from the religious perspective, and also even from the fact that what if they start to engage in the premarital sex? We all know what happens in the majority of cases where there's premarital sex, and because sex has been involved, there's see finish, mm. and the guy goes away. How mm. about that? 
So if you want to drop the religion bit, I say, okay, too churchy, churchy, churchy. All right, put that aside for a split second. And look Let me at interrogate it. that for a second. Mm -hmm. All right. The modern woman doesn't have a problem with you. You do it, run it away. Oh, get, please. Get, get out of Say get something out. else. So how Next. many people is she going to <laughs> no. So in Next. A woman, no, a modern woman will tell you, listen, hey, you are in, you do the what you want, you don't like it, no problem, go. I, I, and they feel empowered enough to make their choice. They might not do it as often, or maybe back to back. Mm. But they'll tell you that, listen, I, I, I would make my choice and I'll still do it again. That's what a modern woman said. They won't tell you, ah, man, because the one has gone, hey, my life has ended. Oh, yeah. She'll keep and doing it. I'm just telling mm. you the reality. But let me come to you, Nima, I and then I'll right. come back to you. Um, you. I'm afraid that's a Elijah, <laughs> what are your thoughts on this matter? Of course, my thoughts are already, you can guess. It's totally, totally wrong. I don't think anybody's anybody's guinea pig. How many tests do you want to test before That's you're it. sure where you're going? That's it. You make it seem like it's cast in stone. So if you find out somebody that you're married to is not sexually active, you divorce the person, you move on. My religion, you know, you divorce. You can't divorce in my body. My well, you can't divorce. Okay, there are several grounds for divorce in Islam that, you know, makes sense to me. If somebody deceives you into an inconvenience in marriage, you don't have to stay there. Also you are not compelled to. But if you love the person enough to want to be a cover for that person and give up those pleasures that God has guaranteed for you, it's your choice also. Mm. So women stay in such marriages and manage what they see and are contented with other things. But if it is not working for you, nobody say you should die there. If you can live for, for comfort or wealth and class and all of that, mm. you can live for sexual uh, whatever. But that does not say because you want to guarantee sexual prowess. You will now... How many waka you want waka? That's it. Before you run mad, you and turn that, to a check, check and do. That's assuming that no. the first waka or the second waka no good. So let's you have a question. No, I have a question. Now. Can I ask? You can't, you no. Can't, no. Waka the second one, you can't wait, 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 it's wait, it's good. No, 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 wait, it's good, it's good when you ask that question. It's good. So if your first, if your first waka is not, is good or not good, how do you know because you've not waka before? You try it. You are the one who sets a standard by wakari several times before exactly. you say one is not good. Absolutely. No, no, no. What if it doesn't start? If you, mm -mm. if waka is not an experience. Waka gets, no, no, no. Wait now. Waka gets level. What if this one is not even responding at all and it's the first? You have not had any other one. It's just the first. But there's nothing, there's no action. You don't get now. That's because you don't get. And you don't marry, finish. Eh, now you, you don't, don't get now. I don't understand you. Okay, now she's saying that if you marry and the person is not even responding, he's not yes. sexually, yes. he doesn't have not arousal, he doesn't not have arousal, he doesn't have. Doesn't stand. You get, you don't get experience. That, that means nothing, nothing happened. Uh -huh. You still remarry. You're not looking for to... sexual prowess. You're looking for, you know, Com uh, what's it called? Intimacy, intimacy. and compatibility. Yeah, intimacy. Sexually, you're not looking for. So you're not doing a, a guinea pig example up and down. Absolutely. It doesn't. I don't just. I can't process it when they say do before you enter. How many do do you want, want to, to do? do? Okay, that's you talking to one so, sex for of women. For, that's for, yes. No. Wait, when you finish, I want to learn this because I heard you when you say some people from their fathers are yes. <laughs> yeah, they talk. I know. You know, if you enter this. Business is like entering a new field of study or anything. Mm. It's the more risk, the more practice you do, mm. that you get better. Mm. And both of you test on each other. That's right. the most beautiful okay, thing. Okay, let to me interrogate it. this one. Okay. Okay. Before you go, girl, girl, let, me, let, let, me, let me interrogate her okay, for a second. We'll take it up. So there is a situation I've said, and I've said this before, where a young girl gets into a marriage, right? And because she's totally innocent, she came in fresh. Mm. She had no clue. So she now entered, and the guy is not doing anything properly. The whole thing is dull. And she doesn't, because she doesn't know better, she's okay with it. Mm -hmm. And she's perfectly fine. Yeah. And then, God forbid, one correct person somewhere just showed up where and just compliments her somewhere, does something. And, and she now realized her body is mixing up. And she's wondering, oh my goodness, what's going on here? Because I've never felt like this with my own husband, though. Mm. What's going on? And <laughs> then, then gra gradually, I mean, she's thinking, that, that, feeling, <gasps> that feeling I have, right. it, I want to have it again. Yeah. And then, and she goes, I mean, it's a colleague in her office, mm. it's going to be somebody. Yeah. She, and mm. gradually, she now realized my body is moving. What's going on? And she wants to be in that space. Mm. So it's because so the point is that mm. we assume that once you enter, even as a novice, mm. that is what that's your choice. Stay there. Mm. But it doesn't always happen. Like so you now say women, women are cheating. It's because something has. Right. That's the point. No, no, no. Michael, come here. I'll let you jump in. Anytime you can jump in. Go ahead. Let me jump in. Um, baby, of course, majority of women, guys, or men compliment us. So it shouldn't be a big deal. Men compliment what we wear and how yeah. we look and all of that. Mm. Even better than our husbands will do it at home. It shouldn't make any difference No to way. You. No, it shouldn't. If a man compliments a woman, that now doesn't mean that you should now see him 
better than your husband or a bit more. <laughs> their compliments are yeah. their compliments. So I think that... what she is trying to say is, Which it's not just the compliments. Uh. You have, you are attracted to this person. Let's use the right attracted word. Attracted to the person. Yes, yeah, and you can be married to somebody and don't crush, don't get attracted do your eyes. to other people. Exactly. Yeah. Crush, let's don't be real. Do your eyes yeah. no, let's no, be real no, here. They are human beings. Right. You may have seen this person and something just, just clicks. Yeah. And it's just chemistry. Yes. You've not even had a conversation with the person, but mm -mm. Excuse it. I'm just... Uh, uh. Yes, now. But as it happens, much, should you not guard yourself? I know that's Guard yourself from feelings. The thing I'm is not to be left on the feeling, but you can start the feeling. Let me let Dodger like that point. I'd like you to say that again. Guard yourself. What yes, from the feeling. Woman, Mariah, come on. We're women. We're married. Okay. Are we supposed to let ourselves lose and fall on compliments and allow compliments to make us... Blush and feel. Oh, yeah. Never leave the compliment. Nah, nah, forget it. Let me Don't leave the compliment. I totally uh, disagree. Mm. You see, let me. I think the problem with our society is because we are judgmental and because we carry religion and put it on our head. In fact, it becomes our way of life. It becomes everything that we have forgotten about life. We've forgotten about living. Mm -hmm. So, you as a woman, you say you go into a marriage. Because you, are, you don't know anything about life, you will... I hear what Mariah is trying to say. Mm. You go into a marriage, you are se sexually in a, inexperienced, maybe your man doesn't even know how to satisfy yeah. you. He will carry you to a certain level, and because he, 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 he knows nothing, he can't or he's not even concerned mm. exactly. That's about one. you. Yeah. Mm. He's only concerned about his own fulfillment. Yes. So he will not leave you hanging. And then you will not start to be thinking, ah, there's something. And then somebody will come and touch that button that... Mm. He has left he, untouched. So, Dada, yeah, so let me finish. Yes, yes. That he has... Wait, why is not and, much he sent something else. And then you now start to, start to feel urges yes. that you didn't realize... Was there. That is... Why, uh, ah, yeah, I want to read, personal uh, trainer. I want to read, uh, For example, Corey, Corey Michael. Mm. He says, this is a very sensitive issue. Though, if you want to buy a car, won't you take it for a test drive? <laughs> but religion, <laughs> I'm not a mm. uh, Wait, I'm the a test drive can be you, the test drive can be him. Yeah. The test drive is neutral. Mm. It is not because, Nobody's they, because we, we are looking at it as the woman doesn't deserve Sexual gratification. Yes. It is Thank only the Mikey. man that deserves sexual gratification. Bagang. So a woman can live to 50. She has never had orgasm in her Bagang. life. Bagang! Why can't she finish it? You see, that's what I said she wasn't saying what you were saying. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's, it's a totally it's different conversation. No, no, no. Wait, 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 but we're at right. the, across gender, right. we did not specific specify gender. That's why I said yes. when Waiki was making her point, I understood her point immediately. Mm. It was a different point, a different point, point of where women's satisfaction sexually wasn't an issue. What is you were an object of sexual side. satisfaction, not you yeah. deserving yeah, sexual sure. satisfaction. That's so that's a, that's a completely different no. topic. That topic no. we can linked. have a full day on it. But it is linked. Mm -hmm. It's not linked. It's linked. What is linked? linked. It's linked. linked. It's linked. It's linked. It's linked. Of course, it's linked. But what we were talking about was across. Should be premarital sex be enough yeah. shopping so, shop. what's yes. saying, mm, so what Mike is saying, so across gender, gender now, minimum, it what, shouldn't be. The, the issue I raise is what leads to what Mike is saying. They lead to each other. So we can start from oh, being not aware. And what what that Mike is saying is a societal just... issue. We live in a patriarchal society. <sighs> Men obviously see women as sexual objects that you know are to satisfy their sexual needs. They don't know whether women have sexual needs. Right. Some people are raised that way. Okay, let me go on a short. So, uh, okay. When okay. I come back, <laughs> I continue this <laughs> no, put Alasi, put put no, 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 put distinction. I disagree. Put distinction. I disagree. Continue this conversation. <laughs> I, I, I marry homosexual. I think. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. They are going on, they are, in fact, they need to be queried on this, on this table. <laughs> All of you are just making too much noise. Okay, we're back. So, 
Let me start with your yeah. on this matter because um, Nima was saying that it's a different issue where he was saying. I'm saying that this issue of knowing before you enter is what leads to a situation where you get into somewhere and even though you're not getting satisfied, you do not realize that you're not being satisfied. You didn't realize this man, this man cannot take you to a, to a Jerusalem. By being your colleague, or maybe going to the gym, for example, and you have a personal trainer who is helping you to your leg, pushing you, she, all kind of things can cause you to the point where you're like, oh my goodness, I cannot get to Jerusalem. Yeah. Or it's not Henry Kuri. No, or you have a colleague in the office, and you're yeah. making, making coffee together, and you're always just saying, oh, can, can you go talk to My husband, that's the boss. It's a 10 power no, no, no. house. Those conversations that put you in trouble. Me, my allow her to be okay. okay. power house. It's not about that conversation. You're just yeah. having a normal, talking about kids, regular yeah. work things, and you really see that you're connecting with this person. And just being in the person's presence, everything in your body lights Should up. Should you yes. not step back when you see that you're Hold on, first yeah. now. See, let's not be you know, you know, you know, you know, Should you not step back? back. Yes. As a woman Hold that has the wrong way, let us establish yeah. that the feeling can happen. Right. Now, what you, you do with the feeling, no so, you know, initially when you were talking, it's, it's like the feeling is a sin. It shouldn't even happen. It's no. a sin. It can happen yeah. because we're human beings. Yeah. And I'm so trying to be rea listen now. I'm trying to be realistic here. Now, when the feeling happens, what you do next is where people would hold you That's accountable. Did you pursue it or did you not? Okay. But to sit down and say the feeling doesn't happen, okay. you should not allow it to happen, we are deceiving ourselves. Now, and this, also, let, me, let yeah. me add to that. Okay. So there is the sister Mary who doesn't know she's even missing anything. And because of that, she can easily step back. Mm -hmm. But there's the sister... Josephine, mm. who has probably who was Josephine before. before. Who was Josephine before, right? She now gave her life to Christ, mm -hmm. so she has tested. She has an idea what it is. Yes. She now enters. Ah, I'm meeting this person. She got some things she has felt so before. Women are different. We don't. We never know. Yes. To add, add to so, that, mm -hmm. there is a sister Gladys yes, who has not done it before, before. but sometimes mm -hmm. when, so when the husband does nonsense, like going three minutes and or two sleeping minutes off. and sleeping off and does not satisfy her, she feels there is something missing. missing. Yes. yes. Because, because it's a natural instinct. It is a because natural instinct. Because let us not say, let us not say, let us say, not say that women do not have those feelings. Mm. But no. It's an because when we deceive ourselves that women do not have urges, that is when we enter the Mm. Okay, let me. So let us. While you let us think about it right now. While you get your response ready, let me take this call back. Let me let me pause yeah, for a second. I will not get ready. Did it? I have a call. for you. Well, Abuja, you're live. Okay, I'm live. Okay. Good morning, sir, from Abuja. Go ahead, Ola. Today, today. All right. Let me quickly give you my own experience. Please. And then I'll also give you solutions. I'll also make suggestions for solutions. I'll give advice. Now, I have two experiences. Volume. With two ladies, one abroad, one in Nigeria. Now, these two ladies, are you people aware of what we call DFE? DFE. No, no. Delayed female ejaculation. Are you aware of that? <gasps> Delayed. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, Delayed go ahead. Delayed female ejaculation. Okay. All right. Ahead, Educators. Now, this lady, if if you spend two hours as a man. Having sex with them, they will never reach orgasm. <laughs> it, 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 it's a medical condition. If you speak to a doctor, they will tell you it is called DFE. Mm. Okay. So in that in those relationships, I have to walk away. Okay. The only solution I had was to book appointments with doctors to help the lady. So Allah, in that kind of situation, would you have preferred to know before marriage, or not. so that we know who needs um, help, help in getting treated for this condition. Now, that's where I'm going. Okay. For me, I'm religious and a spiritual person. Hold on, oh, I think we're losing him. Hello? I can hear you, go on. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. You're a spiritual. Okay, now, for me, I would personally, before I got married, I made up my mind. I will never take you to, to, the, to the altar without just seeing it. Okay, why is that? That's for me. But for the religious people, you can go for medical you know, evaluation of both partners. If you don't want to do it before marriage, yeah. go for medical evaluation to test your, yourself whether you are okay sexually or okay. not. Okay, all right. It is possible. Thank you very much, Ola. 
I know people have done that before, and, they, and some, something still happened. What? But well, what happened? Well, I wanted to ask that. So what is called? It's called an orgasmia. Okay, um, go ahead. So go, I wanted to it. respond to and tell you that in Islam, girls and boys sexual urge starts from puberty. Yes. So is it from puberty you start with testing? No. So we are taught from that early age to put on guard that part of for you. <clears throat> you are raised to be able to guard it. I might sit by someone today, a man, because of the kind of job I do now, and I know that I must be on guard. Right. If the person crosses certain lines, I know. Right. If you send me a kind of message, I don't want to test. I can't be in anger with my husband Correct. and be smiling to a colleague. Correct. Why are you the one bringing that? It's those boundaries that you fail to put on ground that turn something upside down. Bam. Now, that sexual urge that you have is supposed to be met in marriage. It is a ground norm in marriage. But in a situation where it was met before, where Amy, before, before sister, there's no provision for yes. sister Josephine, so before, who had done before, before now became she, very she now got married. Yeah, no, she right? now gave her life to Christ, right? and she said, I won't do again. Mm -hmm. And then she, she now married. enters, and I realize this person is not a two minute person. Now she can be divorcing till she finds. Wait, now let the dad. No, 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 no. Abi, Abi, she can if she can do the outside marriage. She cannot find it in the next one. Is there not a part where husband and wives would help themselves in the marriage, where you know that you have? The shots coming. Yes. yes. What if your husband is a homosexual? Uh -huh. that's, that's a different, different that matter. That's for wrong. No, you're touching what another one. That's so a different let's even talk about this thing because you know we sound as if yeah, if anything like goes wrong, then the yeah. next thing is for you to jump on the next guy yeah. or the next man that compliments you. Yeah. No. Talk about it. You need to talk about it. Yeah. That's where intimacy comes from. Yeah. Sex starts pre before you even start the main ah. thing. Mm -hmm. Right. You're feeling me. We know it is before now. now. So, so talk about Nigerian men don't know that. Nigerian men know. No, they, no, they do. Are we not married to Nigerian men? Are we not married to Nigerian men? Know. Are we not married to Nigerian Nigerian men? men. Yeah, I've not seen an evil man before in my life. <laughs> Nigerian men know. Mm. No, couple no, shy Nigerian. away from talking about it. No, 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 no. Not because your husband knew. Uh, no. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Let me say no, no. I cannot be comfortable. Good morning. Thanks for calling. Ikoi. Oh, Sukomi. I'm so sorry for Sukomi. Hello? So come here, you're live. Go ahead, please. Morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you, when you spoke there, I just shout out. Ah, this is the I greet you all. I greet you all. Thank you. 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 I think uh, you, you, uh, you are. Let me say, I'll say, our ladies, you need, uh, you need to start helping out the men in that regard. Because um, I think, okay, let me tell you uh, my little story. I think I was uh, in a date then. Um, I'm a Muslim, um, fully now. But then, when I was in the world, I was uh, with a mature uh, lady, with skin and then. Um, I took her on a journey. We understand them. Um, and then um, I discovered, you know, it has everything. And I just left her, you know, when we were on the journey, and I left her at the middle, at the, you know, first of we And everything is okay. But um, she, it took, it took her a very, I mean, it took her, um, I mean, she just, she, she had to, she had to, I'm let me know. She just passed the message. I'm so sorry. I, 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 can't, I can't hear you. Hello? I'm trying. Hello, I'm, 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 I'm finding it difficult to hear you. Maybe our viewers can hear you at home, though. Hello, Sukomi. The tweets have scattered this Okay, let, okay, so it, well, this okay. Is, go ahead. Let me take it. Tweets are scattering us now. Uh, William says, I can't buy shoes without wearing it, even though I know my <laughs> size. <laughs> uh, Ebo Dahe says, I, I have stayed off relationship for years, and the moment I gave it a try, all guys were demanding for sex. I just feel like there's no relationship without sex for now. Yeah, Primarital sex is isn't good and it shouldn't be promoted. Somebody now says the difference, there's a difference between love making and having sex. Yes. So, ah, that's a real conversation. Uh, uh, me, so how many prostitutes are bad dogs? Let me bring in this angle, guys. Let me bring it yeah, in this angle. Yeah, yeah, I don't want us to I don't want, to, I don't want mm. us to trivialize this issue too yeah. much. Right. The reason why I don't want to trivialize because there are marriages that are breaking up right now because yes, of these so, things. Yes. And I like where the job was taking us as regards conversation. Many yes. people can't have that conversation. They can't have the Thank God we are, we are in marriages yes. where we can have a conversation yes. with our spouses. But yes. many, like your menopause matter is happening. Sorry. 
Is no, a is is one of us that was <laughs> well, <laughs> okay. yes, you know, yes, <laughs> MD, MD, Anyway, so the reason I didn't want us to trivialize is because there are women or there are, there are people in the marriages right now and they are hurt because right. they are unable to have that conversation. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Not everybody has that. Can let's have a conversation. Let's talk right. about this thing. And the man will listen. Or yes. the woman. Yes. There are some crazy people that they choose. Yeah. Their ego will not allow them to settle down to have a conversation. So those women are suffering in silence. Yeah. I like the fact that I, you mentioned the ego here. Um, it's very difficult for a woman. I've coached a few people in relationships and I f they, they find it difficult to explain to the man what their needs are. Yeah. Because the question will be, how did you know now? Mm. Where have you gone? Mm. What have you done? I, we have been together for two years. You never complained about this. This is the first time I'm hearing it. Mm. I've been with 17 women. I've not heard this. Why are you the one spotting it? <laughs> so it, it brings up another conversation. As, yeah. as another far as issue. even breaking the relationship. Right. So they want to play safe. And because they don't want quiet. their husband to start suspecting no, this and that. I, 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 I coach these things now. Yeah. I was supposed yeah. to be a sex coach. Yes. I was supposed to niche as a sex coach. But my husband said, no, please. I don't want anybody to be looking at you having seen sex. <laughs> Pick something else, you know. And that's why I moved to personal development, mm. right? So I meet people and I interface with them when it comes to this. And I mm. hear all of this. So we cannot assume that because we are raised disciplined enough mm. to check some things from the beginning that every other woman is like, like that. that. No. We must give room for other women who are not like that. Yeah. We can only advise and say, there's a way you can show up yourself. Yeah. There's a way you can protect yourself. Uh, absolutely. There's a way you can. Some of these women don't even want to protect themselves. They've done, they have been protecting themselves and their marriages for several years. And they're like, I'm done. No, I can't just be in this just. relationship and I'm not getting anything out mm -hmm. of it. You just right. enter and plug and play and you go. And then you people hang out and you'll be making all the noise that I, I deliver, I break leg, I do this, I do that. And it's not working for us. Yeah. Some can have that conversation. So the best thing is, if you notice, you know, we started from premarital sex, but now we're moving into marriage. Into marriage. If you now get to that point where you cannot talk, seek a therapist. Yeah. Maybe your husband will listen, listen to the therapist. And they always listen to the therapist. Oh, not all. Oh, yeah. Which men? Which men? No, 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 no. When they finally get, no, 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 no. I've had. They listen. When they finally get, yes, they do. They listen. So I've had issues. Like you rightly said, I also do some marriage uh, counselling. So from experience yeah. of you know talking to a couple of uh, couples, some would, some men will request for a therapist, a counsellor, would even request for an, an an older person, an elderly person. Mm. Because they are willing to do it. So they know that when they, yes, wow. they know that when they get, to, at least they'll be themselves when the person is a lot older <laughs> than them, older than their wives, and they're more comfortable talking about the issues. Forget about ego. Which man does not want to be helped? I know that the ego is a strong thing, but they also want to be helped. Ah, okay, Roger, 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 yes. Roger, yes. Roger, Roger, it's not only Roger. men that have problems. Yeah. There are some women yeah. too that I'm just like ego. that, like, no good. I, oh. Thank you. <laughs> Good morning, David from Abuja. You're live. Mm. See? You see? Sorry, it's not us, it's there. So, so, so a, yes, a woman will now lie, lie down as a log and say she has not reached orgasm. It's a two way so so The women so that are not have to have orgasm. And you don't even know what to expect. They don't understand it. Yeah. What will you do? What? I didn't get the question, sorry. What you if hear? you don't know what to expect oh, as a young so girl? Yeah. My, <laughs> my menopause. <laughs> <laughs> menopause is worrying a lot on that side today. You know what I said. So, as a young girl, you're having the conversation now. You've met someone who wants to marry you, and you're having that conversation. What would you say when you don't know what to expect? It is why you are married that you do. You can say, "I didn't get here. I got here." I read so many books getting married. I asked all my aunties that is how it will be. Exactly. One said, "Sweet bitter." I carry sweet bitter. Bitter's I wrote inside my diary, waiting for sweet bitter. <laughs> you know, and waited. I didn't know what to expect when the conversation happened, and my husband was asking. I look like that. I didn't know what to expect. Fast forward, that my auntie is in menopause, and she's going through so many phases in her fifties, and sexual health became something. For some people, it drops bam. For some people, it increases bam. Mm -hmm. So, are you going to finish that conversation in premarital stage? Exactly. 
Okay. No. You don't yeah. work like that. Let me no. take Felix from Poraco. Good can't. point. Things change. Yeah. You can have a child today Felix and you lose your sexual urge. Your life. Thanks for calling. You go come back. No fear. No, morning. Go ahead, please. Fine. Morning, sir. Good morning. You men are not calling yeah. yet. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you all. Yes. Yeah, yeah. well done. Uh, uh, this topic is a very complex topic uh, because when people have different views to this topic. Yeah. Uh, Absolutely. So we're talking of the, so the main topic is primarily sex before going to marriage proper. Right. And that premarital sex, I think it's important to have a premarital sex because some men are important. Let me just go straight to the point. Mm. Some men are important, and if you don't have premarital sex, you go into the marriage, you have problems, and it's difficult for you to solve such problems. Some could be spiritual, some could be any which way. Mm. So that is why you need to have an intimacy before going to marriage, so that already you know your spouse, the person you want to settle down with. When you're into the marriage, you can discuss things with them. Let me give you an experience. Um, there are a girl and a boy who got into marriage. The lady was a virgin, and they got into marriage. While they were in the marriage, the, lady, the man was not um, being satisfied enough because he knew this lady as being a virgin in a year. Okay, with time, he began to expose this girl to some pictures, videos, and all that, and everything. It took them two years for them to, for the lady to why didn't you tell me this all the while? You've been growing up, and, and I told you I don't like this, I'm a gentle over. Why you have told me all this why? So they got to understand this thing because it talked about, they got to understand this thing. And the man loved this lady more than before because they understand themselves. The man will not go out because the lady was able to please the man the way he wanted. In fact, even please the man more than the outsiders. And also, we should also know that. There's what we call, we are, we are, in this part of the world, we are brought up to have self-control. So that is why there is marital sex intimacy before marriage. Because when you All get right. into the marriage, self-control majorly comes Thank you, Felix. Can, so that you don't look out and Okay. Felix, can I ask you a question? Sex-control. Felix, okay. you, know, you know you can be intimate without having premarital sex. You, you can be intimate and you can find out if it's... Uh, yeah. The, 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 you are working or not working? If it's active or not, no, well, you know, some are liars. You, you can't conclude on that. Mm. Some are liars. Some, they will tell you because of the fact that they want to settle down with you, they will want to say, ah, yeah, 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 I'm good. Look at pastors, look at some church goers. They might say, okay, no, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm all good, I'm all that, I'm everything. They will pretend to the end. Thank you very so, much, Mr. Felix. You, I, I wanted us to address an issue because don't there be something I feel that I would like us to discuss it further. That men are willing to solve this kind of problem because I, I, from us hosting this show for like um, over ten years now, we've seen one of the issues that we have is that men don't even want to. They don't. They don't. This this matter, they don't like to bring it up yeah. with a professional, with a <coughs> therapist, with a pastor. They, this is one thing that every other thing finance I can go for a clinical, but this matter, this other room matter. Please let anybody not knock and get into my business. So I think, do we? Is it? Is it? How do we help situations where the men, maybe the few men that Dodger know, are willing, but those men that are not willing, how do we? How do we get them to points where they are willing to ask for help? Why kid? Conversation for him. That's the person that said that. How do we get Why is it me asking? Hey, the ones I, that don't I, want let to answer. Let her answer. You know, many men, not, many men don't want to talk about this matter. I'm surprised. No, that no, no, no. Don't, do. no. Don't. I don't assume. think. I, exactly. It's not right to generalize, Mariah. Have you started the conversation? You know, there's always an approach to things. Where, let's not take away the ego bit or part of the men. But there's an approach. Hmm. There's always an approach. You see? One of the major reasons why some marriages have problem, one of it is communication, lack of communication, proper mm -hmm. communication. The second is sex, <coughs> that's what we're talking about. Mm, you know, if you can merge the two together, communicate whilst you're trying to improve the sex or in the intimacy between both of you, I think there'll be a little bit of a le level ground. Yeah, so I don't want us to generalize and mm. say men don't want to talk about it. Not all men. Have you tried to broke a mm. conversation? Okay. Have you tried to bring it up? And health. again, in what way? How do you want to talk about it? Are you going to say, hey, so you know, the way you did it yesterday, I didn't like, I'm, I'm not happy about it. Da, 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 da. You know, or so, so you I think just find a way. Let me use myself you know, as an example. Yeah. You see, my husband, there are some, maybe some things that we have, at discussions, and I'll say, okay, when, when we have an issue, personal issue, and I'll say, okay, Brown, let's talk about it. Because I expect that, just like you said, let's have that nice, I'll find the best, best time. Best time. Good mood. Yeah. 
Just like we are taught in marriage counseling. <laughs> <laughs> if I start this matter with Brown, the first sentence that he doesn't want, eh? He flips 360. With the sentence that he doesn't want. Mm. No, hear me. With I use topic. that technique. Mm -hmm. That technique. So, for example, now, maybe Brown says, I don't like this hair. Right? And I feel like, let me find the best time. He's in a good mood. Mm, he just finished eating from the yam. He's smiling. He's laughing. And I want him to get me this hair. I say, Brown, so that hair I was telling you about, that, he flips. Right. What? I told you I don't like that hair. And that, you nice, that nice, nice, you think that you, you, you get it. So it's not, so it's, not, it's not all men that it happens yeah, to. But yeah. we have, so we have not all men. So let's not assume that, because yeah. they'll tell you doing counseling. Hey, after, the, after you've been done the other room, yeah. something, when yeah, you're not happy, rub the stomach. Rub the stomach. That you have now, that. That. So that one is going to be jump off the bed. Don't be just jump off the bed. Don't stop what you're saying. No, but not sex. But I want to say Brown will flip when it comes to sex. No, 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 men. Hold on. He can flip if he wants to flip, but it's not all men that you say is when he's in the right mood you have a conversation yeah, for yeah, some men method though personal method as if for some men back. this uh. conversation <laughs> i want to have it okay we are not having it okay we are not talking okay i'm no methods. longer if i'm no longer cooking mm -hmm. i'm not in the mood to we play are different methods, yeah. okay yeah. by the time you are important enough to you will pay me that attention i will tell you what i want to tell you you can, I can, I'm not going to compel you, an adult, to do what I want. I will tell you, I want it. It's not pleasing me that we're not having that conversation, we're not doing that thing. I rest my case. Yeah. You can process it for one year and think, okay, now I want to make my wife happy and do that one thing. But I would have expressed myself, me, I will express myself. Yes. You will know that and that thing, I want it. Yeah. Sometimes, if you, with my husband, if you like, cook the food that they say to the man, so hard, say, you, come. you are wasting your time. <laughs> if you like, do it turn upside down, 360, what you will not do, you won't do. But that you will not now say your own. Mm. It's your fault. Mm. So you, must, you will find you a way push to through. express what you want. is, um, and, I, had, I have a friend who... Uh, you know, when they were telling us about this, find a good time to talk to the mm. person and say, ah, you <laughs> see, she called me. I said, CBC, it does not work in my relationship. Mm -hmm. I said, please okay. give me your story. She says that it's when the man is, I don't want to have this, and, and she flips. She gives that's it back to him that, no, we pressure. must have. Pressure that is for when, pressure. Yes, that's that's that is when the man so everybody listens has their own method. and gives their own method. different strokes. So you must find what works for you. What works for but you. But I wanted to talk about Even dog, the wiring. Dog yeah. has different character. How yes. much more human? Yeah. Yeah. Come on, dog <laughs> and cat. They have different character. <laughs> you human beings have different character. You can't, you can't write one book for all. Oh, yeah. So I wanted to talk about the wiring of women. Why sometimes it seems like these men don't want to have this conversation, conversation. especially when it comes to intimacy and sex. We have been, women have been raised to just receive without mm. questioning. So part Whatever of your you job as take. a wife, part of your job as a wife or, or as a babe is to manage the ego of the man. Mm. So you know that this is just plug and play. But you don't want to break his heart by mm. raising the conversation. You don't want to hurt him. Mm. You are afraid of how he would take it, yeah. how yeah. he would feel. And yeah. that's why you see men who have these issues, who they have dated like 500 women. None have told, them, told them that they have, they have this. this issue. So the first day they hear it, the shock. Yeah. Ah, that's a but real issue, was, yes, right? But there was yeah. Josephine did not tell me. Uh, did not tell me. Tell me. Right. Yes. That one did not tell me. Yeah. Will you manufacture? It becomes a not. Yeah. So you have to first solve the layer yeah, yeah. of the problem. Exactly. Correct. So there was one thing I wanted to change in the relationship when we started. I wanted something new, and you know, I've, girls will talk about it when we are together. I've read about it. I wanted to experience it. I hadn't experienced it at the time, and I told Oga, I was like, um. You know, there's this, um, there's a way we can, the first thing I heard is, eh? Where did they get that from? I have come? known you, he now calculated, I have known you for how many years? The first time we read this conversation, you told me, no, 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 you don't like it. At what point did you start liking it? <laughs> um, you we now let, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, this is the reality of many women. Right, that's why yes. they don't even want to have the conversation. Yeah. We now left what I said, though, and started dealing with another issue. issue. We had to go back and forth, back and forth, yeah, me proving why. and explaining. And before he now dawned on him that, okay, let's give this a try. But I had to. How many women are, and some men are mm. very, when it comes to this matter, they mm. are Close very close-minded. Close -minded. Close -minded, yeah. That would have been the end. So you yeah. have gone somewhere now, they have touched you in that way, and that's what you want. They, are, yes. he, they label you immediately. Right. How many men are willing to humble themselves and listen to their wives? Uh -huh. We need to men. ask that. So we need to talk because to the men. Because a lot of them don't. Yeah. So you can think you want to raise this conversation. Once it means to me, Modern and let me tell you, 
Let me take, yeah, yeah. let me take, let me take the question. I can imagine let me take your your, what you are talking about. Let me yes, take your I, I don't even see the, 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 the story name with the story. Ah, you went that fake. Okay. Okay. I didn't have to three. Okay, mine, don't yeah. work out. Okay, let me imagine. She's also. here, but her mind. <laughs> oh, okay, your mind is in like. Mr. Dokwemu, Mr. Yaku from Dokwemu, you're live. Don't mind all these people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, this is very, very important uh, talking tomorrow. And then before I go on, uh, I have a request. My request is this, Mario, especially to you. That yesterday uh, a program, I would like you guys to do the follow-up. I tried to call in yesterday. I couldn't. I couldn't. But please, try to yeah. follow up that case. It's yeah. very, very important. Now, I will say this, Mario. This very particular topic is, as I said earlier, it's very, very important. Uh, Islamically, and then the, by extension, religiously, it is not allowed to do this thing to marital lessons. But, Mario, quote and unquote, this thing is very, very important. Very, very important. I have an experience, which I think I will share in a, in a few minutes now. Uh, Mario, there's a lady in my area here. I can tell you categorically, her husband is so rich, sister Yeni, her husband is so rich man. But this woman in question, he dare not question her husband in terms of the other room. He, he, the man gives everything that you can take off. Are you getting it now? Yeah. But this very particular thing, it has been a problem. Even the woman has her husband to follow her. So a medical lady, the man says, how dare you telling me to follow you to TV? If this is not okay by you, please. And but the woman was looking at, at the children and other things that she was getting the marriage. She couldn't, she couldn't leave. But you know what they, this very particular woman I'm talking about, very pretty woman it did. The woman approached me, Morayo. Hey, this thing I'm about to say taught me that very particular day. The woman said, I like that I want to see you. I was thought maybe you want to buy or something in my, in my place. He, she said that she needed a guy. I was taught. I look. I say, wow. What is going on here? I said, I don't, I pretend as if I didn't add what she said. I said, what did you say? She said she needs a guy. Ah. I said, okay. Why, why did you say this? She said, she, 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 has, she has been in this marriage for the past 12 years, producing children without enjoying the other room. And then this thing is killing her. I said, okay, you know what? I have a solution for you. I have something to give you. But the only problem I have now is that where will you tell your husband you get this thing from? He said, I shouldn't bother myself. That I should leave that side. All what he needs is what? he wants to want solution. To put the story short, Murayo, I give this woman something that she should take home. What is the something? And then the following yeah, so day. Her oh, the following you day. Stand, you slept with her? No. Slept with, what is this coming Hello? to Hello? Let him finish. Can what you tell me? What did you give the woman? I don't want to mention it. We are, we are here. We are here. I don't want to mention it. Please. Yeah, no, I understand. Oh, it's Why did you give the woman? Yakub, you have to say what you gave the woman. Why did you give the woman? 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 Please, let me finish. Because of the time. Because of the time. Please, let me finish this story, please. Please, please. Please. Hello? Go ahead. Can you hear me? Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, Morayo, so the following day, this woman took this thing to her house, to her home. And then the following day, do you know what I saw? The, 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 the husband of this woman came to my place. He not said, he not said that, I like, did you have this? Immediately I saw this picture on, on his phone. I said, wow, problem is coming. The man said, I like, the God will bless you. I said, amen. God will bless you. I said, amen. And he said, are you the one give this thing to my wife? I said, yes. He said, Ha, Aladi. He's just going to the gym, and then he gave me 20,000 naira. From today, the man has been my friend. In fact, in fact, I'm moving out of this place to go to this money, Up to this money, the, the man renamed my friend. And then I settled that marriage. See, this very particular topic, it is very, very, the other room is very, very important. And then we should do Yaku, I will tell you, hello, Yaku, listen to me. Yaku. Because yeah. the objective of this show is to help people. To help people. Mm. We want to learn and share information. So what have you given this woman that Nigeria can also learn from and go and get for their own money? You can't say it on a breakfast show. What is the thing? Oh, <laughs> oh I understand. Don't, worry, don't mind them. 
You know, many have generalized views. Many have generalized views about men, uh, and take it that all men won't take advice or help. We want help. We oh. need help, mm. but the approach matters. Which approach? You should lie down, come and you. Always, you cannot come with a man that you want to help. About the a two-minute man in your marriage. All yeah. those slags that we like to throw around women. No, the old ones. I mean, the no, no, man that you want to help, you will tell him that so they want help. help. Wait, yes, now. my husband, or how do you say to Africa? Olowori. me. This thing that we are doing. Let me we need solution. You cannot come and say, no, hey, no, not, 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 not worry, say, not say not wait till man gets, you know, go borrow your neighbor, oh, take satisfy woman. Now, wait till you get, you go take satisfy woman. She woman must be able to express what she wants. You know, go borrow neighbor, oh. So you can't come, the approach will now be rude and pompous and, you know, demeaning no, of the man. No, it's uh -huh. not that type of approach I, we're talking about. So not, that's no, it's not general, okay, I agree with you. I agree with that. Some people that, are rude. That don't know. generalize. Yeah. No, some men actually want help, right? No problem. I'll accept that from this man. However, let us not also assume that once you think that you find a soft spot, that all men react to that soft spot. No, they know all. Yeah, not no, all. The sexual no, conversation. You know, some women do comparison a lot. See. So now that. Immaculate Boy says, hold oh no. on. Immaculate Boy says, Nigeria men have suffered on your view table <laughs> since 1900. <laughs> when will Mo Akabash bring entertainment director? Uh, as entertainment, I agree, your view, men edition. The Black Boy needs It's called Black Table. Men. 11 p.m. every Friday night. That's tomorrow night. Watch it. It's a fantastic show, and it I think is. you should. So since Wakey started yeah. taking right. messages, let's just continue the train. Baba Lala Samuel says, I understand your concerns, but it's important to remember that everyone's experiences and perspectives are different. Mm -hmm. Some people may choose to engage in premarital sex due to personal beliefs, cultural... Um, <laughs> may choose to... Okay cultural practices or individual desires. It's yeah. essential to have an open and honest talk about it. it. Yeah. Is, I'm a Christian. I don't really support premarital sex, but what happens to a guy that eventually does, do, knows that his wife doesn't have any okay. vagina after marriage? <laughs> I have seen a Yoruba oh, wow. lady that doesn't have. She even planned to take her own life because of this. Uh, so this is a gestational yeah. problem that yeah. is rare. Mm -hmm. It's rare. And has surgical I have to wrap up solution. on this topic. Let me just take this mm, last call. Good morning. Process. Thanks for calling your live. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. You're live. Go ahead, please. Okay. I have advice to contribute. My yes. advice is, man. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Go Kingsley, ahead. go ahead. Good morning. Good morning. I have advice to contribute. Go ahead. And my contribution. One of my contributions is men should exercise. Most men are so lazy that they don't exercise anymore. And women have expectations. Exercise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hello? Yes. We the TV, TV is delayed, so we, you're talking to us, we're fine. We can hear you. Men should exercise. My contribution is okay. men should okay. exercise. Yeah. Women have expectations. Okay. And when you as a man don't meet the women's expectations, is a problem. What exactly. If, what if women don't meet men's expectations? That one is, we, they have been solving the problem for years. Right, thank you very much, Kings. Let's give you comment on social media. Did they dare for all yeah. comment on social media and then we can Okay, yes. Uh, this one, ah. I want to take it. <coughs> okay. Sir Chokusworth says, the narrative that, uh, sorry, the narrative of tests before enter is ridiculous because even data doesn't support it. Premarital sex before marriage leads to higher rate of divorce. Quite the opposite. Every excuse to argue in premarital favor are flimsy and even have solutions uh, if, you, if you are being serious and were willing to tackle the problem. <coughs> last, last, people know that they know the truth but just want to hold on to something to justify themselves. Mm, Hafsa okay. says no premarital uh, but end up with extramarital. Huh? Yes, oh. no premarital but then they end up with extramarital. Yeah. Premarital is... means a no. But inside marriage, couples should do all it takes to satisfy each other mm -hmm. sexually. Mm -hmm. Don't be selfish. Hamsi's mom mm -hmm. says, I feel women should open up to men their sexual needs, even if the man's ego doesn't want to hear it. Mm -hmm. Society is really making women not get what, that satisfaction in marriage. Mm -hmm. Shut your ears to society, dear women. I like Hamsi's mom. Let me finish mm -hmm. this one. She also said, men also need to understand that as they evolve, women also evolve. Yeah. Childbirth changes women. 
a man might marry a naive woman who at first didn't like sex. Fast forward to five years later, after having two kids, she's always um, wanting sex, except on her period and life. And I want to close on this. It's a continuous conversation. There's no, it's a lifelong one. Lifelong one. Because yeah. it's totally based on our hormonal changes, our body changes, and you can't exhaust it at premarital stage. It's something that as you, you choose one partner, you stick to him for life, you continue to converse and grow on that area. There's no, if you like, don't love good. You know, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Says, your topic is premarital sex. You, you have moved to marriage. You need to thrash the first topic. This will prevent problems, problems in marriage. Okay. Mm. Yes, so I wanted to say that nobody expects that you finish all the experiments at the premarital yes. level, right? Uh, it's just that a lot of people have found that they made mistakes by not trying at all. Yeah. And so for them, if they have to do it again, they will not do the same yeah. thing. Other people do not have those experiences. So they are willing to keep themselves till they get there. So it's just for you to understand what works for you. And nobody should be judged otherwise. Yeah. Because sometimes what we think is, um, you know, if you do not have it outside, your marriage would definitely last for 70 years. It may not be so. There are people. Don't. And if you, if you, don't, if you do, have it. No, and if you do, do too, your marriage may reality. last for 70 years. Mm -hmm. There are no rules to it. No so you to must it. find what works for you and do not take anybody's judgment on what works for you personally. If, yeah, find what works you for you and own what works for you. The advice is you, what, why we usually pre, you know, prevent young people from getting into extra uh, premarital pre sex is because uh, sometimes the, there's a thin line between where to stop and, you know, where to continue. Some people, when we're growing up, we're taught that there, there are certain ways you can find out certain things without going down. Mm. We had that conversation. And some people would do some smooshing, you know, some touching. Yeah, but, money. but they, <laughs> but they won't get thoughts, there. Man. No, listen, no, they won't get there. You know, they just want to find out some things. Some people have that knowledge. Other people don't have that knowledge. Let's also forget, not forget that there are some people that are raped in the scheme of things. As young people, they don't even get to where they want to make a decision on what they want to do with their body. It's taken from them by force. And then they move into the society trying to navigate and find themselves. We can't just judge everybody by, ah, mm. you decided to go I to... Totally some people who take a few more comments. We're going to wrap it up very soon. We're the, all different, so Mr. do whatever Johnny works for you. Bigger Drink says that um, the issue against premarital sex is an injunction ordained by God. No matter the degree of modernity, God words, God's words must be obeyed always. You must strive to be godly and obey God always. Perspective, lower boys or girls can go for medical tests to ascertain their compatibility. Yeah. Let us endeavor to encourage lovebirds to abstain. I totally right. agree with the no I judging. I totally yes. agree for that, no judging. But I, I can guarantee you, premarital sex and all of that cannot confirm or negate anything. Mm. That you're going to deal and with, and it does not marriage. guarantee that Doesn't you're going to have a yes. better sex life. Even in, that, in, in marriage, marriage. Remember your eyes were clear. Yeah. Yeah. Remember, remember, yeah. Prof, yeah. prof has come on our table. So it's better mm. than it twice. He was talking about fertility. Uh, yeah. Prof was no, and I'm telling you, it doesn't still guarantee. Prof she be the person that said they should bring child for him. No man, no If they bring, she be a good bastard. Sorry, wrong word. What you insist? We've sat on this table, done DNA topics of first child. First children, mm. that this kind of... So there's nothing... See, what I believe different is... Be sincere. Sincerity guarantees you everything. everything. It ensures your right. If God says stay away, stay away if you want yeah. to do it for God. Yes. Yeah. If you don't want to do it for God, be then clear what you are doing what you're for. doing, exactly. When you enter, your sincerity and honesty will carry you far. I didn't even know that I would be sexually okay in marriage. I just wanted to marry under God's terms. God added that one, Ajara. Uh -huh. I thank God. Oh, yes. oh, yes. oh, yes. oh, thank you. What if the Jara didn't come? Let me tell you why. Would you because a lot of women go into that same yes. marriage mm -hmm. because they are pious. Yeah. They, they didn't care about it. Yeah. I remember, I use myself as a example, I will never forget this pastor's wife back in the US then when she was counseling us. And she, she I, I mean, the, the statement she made stuck like glue because I was mm -hmm. young. Mm -hmm. And she said, this thing, girl, it's too separated, Jare. There's no big deal. Even me, I know the last time that pastor, pastor even touched me. So please don't let anybody put in your head. There's no big deal. Ah. After a few that you get. So for me as a young woman, yeah. I was, you it was touch. never important. And I entered it like, listen, with the mentality, I am just a child of God. Wow. And so there are some people 
that they enter into. Yeah. Yeah. And you have you still have that reward. Let me tell you a secret. Let me tell you a secret. Right. All my friends were dating and having sex. And one of the reasons I accepted to marry the year I married was that I had sexual urges. I said to my dad, I want to marry this No, no, no. I had sexual urges. And it must be within the confines of God. Can you? God added the jara. God did not put that jara. I will not put that jara. I will not put that jara. Yeah. If I didn't know what the standards were, I probably would still be married. Because I didn't know. Now that I am where I am, if I was marrying as a divorcee, I would divorce a man who doesn't sexually advise, uh, satisfy hey, me because hey. I cannot commit that sin mm. within any marriage. Okay, so now I'm going to the marriage. Some people say That's it's better, about, wait, Morris, oh, some people say oh, it's better divorce is to wrong. date, okay, wait, it's divorce better is to right date to five different people and marry one. And some people say it's better to live with Dates my... Dates different from premarital sex. No, not be when they date. They date that they will have the premarital sex. It's when you're dating your knack now. You want to be knack. Breakfast show. Breakfast show. Sorry, sorry. Breakfast show. Then you didn't confuse me. Leave me alone. Let me stay my So, they say it's better to have five dates, you know, five different people decide and then pick that it's better for their sanity than for them to get into the relationship, marriage relationship and realize they can't work and divorce. People have different things they, they, they have different life. things, yeah. Nothing guarantees right? anything. Nothing guarantees anything, but we work with what you know. Changes will happen to your body. You. But, I think, you you desire. Desire. but I think that we also need to emphasize that there are consequences to premarital sex. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. List them for us, please. <laughs> no, don't list them. <laughs> Just leave it. Let them say. There are consequences. So there are yeah, consequences. You know. So, you know, you, you, talked about, you talked about the Gen Z, you know, to listen to them. Well, whatever they want to do, okay, go ahead and do it. But there are consequences. Okay. We've known or we, we've heard of uh, young people that got pregnant at 16. And they couldn't do abortion. So are you ready for such consequences? Right. Even if you want us to deviate from the godly bit. Okay, churchy, churchy, all right. There are a lot of consequences. There are STDs. There are a couple and a couple and a couple of other things that, yeah. you know, will come up. So whilst mm -hmm. we talk about the premarital sex, and people say they want to do it, they insist that they want to do it, I think we should also then talk about the consequences so that before you go into it, mm, you yeah, know you what you're Somebody has solved it. Wait, wait, wait. Somebody has solved it. Somebody. So the general says, in my own case, it is my wife that is asexual, and I will even get her gorontula, yet I have to be extra mild. I have to go the extra mile, get angry, and beg her to use it. Wow. Gorontula is one herb. Okay. Muslims use it a lot. Muslim yeah. women use it a lot. It's for sexual... To, to help uh, you guys are really sick that they, 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 yeah, 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 the yeah. book where we need to speak offline this time we'll break it down for you <laughs> the other room let me take um, john thanks for calling your life <laughs> hello john oh i think i lost that call mm. somebody mr Tijani sent a solution okay. let me let me speak it slowly right. so that the men one of the solutions to help guys cucumber Smoothly blended with lemon works more than Vi Viagra. Ah. <laughs> Thus, increase the nitric okay, acid is that, what you have been that us? enhances blood flow. That's what that's okay, what it gives us every lemon. Lemon. Everybody yeah. knows. Enhances okay. blood flow mm. to manhood area. Frequent mm. take of pomegranate fruit is also very good for guys. Right, what are you giving a guy? Like loud it. Cucumber <laughs> and lemon. Okay. I don't have to give him anything. Hey, he's on point. He's on point. Aww. Why can't you end up? No, you're smiling. See, like your national TV admitting to me. I can't even already. She's remembering the situation. The different episodes. The pictures are just flowing in her hand. The different episodes. And she's... It's a different topic. Oh, yes. Okay. Let's go. Let's wrap up. Let's go. Let's go. Any comments? Okay, I think we don't have any more comments. Yeah. Let me okay. find a break. Comments. comments. We have plenty, plenty comments. And give me about two more. So, so uh, the break. general continues. He said, changes happen to bodies. An active guy before marriage can become a non-active. Hence, we should focus on communication in dating yeah. and a healthy relationship and respect. Ah, mm. cap. Yeah. Finish my talk. Let me finish. The, let, me, let me wrap it up. And, Andrew Why Shagam says, what do you think of Nima? I bet she's having a fantastic time with her hobby. <laughs> she looks contented. Oh, she? Very, very. Mm. Okay, let me wrap it up. So, first, in pre-marathon, I think I agree with my dodger here, where there are consequences. People must be responsible. I also agree mm -hmm. with BC that says that Everybody should go with their intuition. You're an adult. People make, a, make their own choices and mistakes. However, whatever the consequence is, be willing and be ready to accept it. Right. Now, inside, what we have agreed is that communication is crucial. Some of you might want to communicate. You might have to change your method of communication because some of you think, oh, find the soft spot. Some, some people might not work for them. Find that one that works for you so that both of you can communicate and enjoy it because you shouldn't, um, this shouldn't be an issue to stop a match. And, 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 as, and, and as a Muslim woman, if you feel that the person is not 
get into that uh, Talk level. Talk to him. If you Talk know to him, and if you cannot get any, you, can, yeah, I think you have the power to excuse up. yourself. That is all we can take on this segment. We'll come back with we'll Tyler to take another one more topic before we rush off. Stay with us. We have time time. for another talk. We have time. Yeah. Yeah. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. to stay with us so um our topic before was about premarital sex and all that but it led us into issues of um inside marriage and 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 and, and sexual relations however the other topic is also somewhat related because it's about polygamy um should polygamy be encouraged now men some men take the polygamous option when for example <coughs> if your wife is like a log on the bed she doesn't like it she's was emerging she's not exposed she doesn't know all the tricks and you say, okay, I can't handle this one, this one, I, let me not teach you, since you're not interested. Let me get a second wife. So, men, some society allows a man to either get a side chick or marry a second wife. But a woman that is stuck, is she allowed to marry a second, second husband? husband? But you know what? You, since you're not interested <laughs> in this matter, since you know Sabi, <laughs> let me find somebody. Should we allow me? Just, 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 just be happy. Just be happy. I won't have children just to be happy in this situation so that we can all live happily ever after. I'm not a good person. Yeah, I'm just saying. Yes, polygamy. Like polygamy. That. You know yeah. where the mm -hmm. society is. This is patriarchy. We don't like to talk no, about no. the women because part. And so, you know, you know, should ask the man why. Worlds, yeah, that allow, allow yes. Yeah. 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 So so you can allow some religion allow it. Like, yes. yeah, so it's allowed in Islam. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so okay, let's, let me start with Let's start with that one. Mm. Should the man help himself where his wife cannot do anything? Get a second wife. Yes or no? I don't of think it's only I don't think, yeah. uh, you should. sex. Should. Yes, no, should. I don't think it's only sex that makes a man want a to second have a second wife. wife. Some men just want to have mm -hmm. um, variety. You, you know, they, they want to have different Which people. Which one is Wait now. now. No. They want to have different people. So they may have you for stability. You help them yeah. grow their finance and everything. Yes. But you're not so good in that aspect. Yeah. They want somebody who is good. They want another person who is the one that they will go out with. The, the trophy. Who is presentable yes. for the outside. The yes. trophy wife, you know. They want, they just want, especially those men who are rich, who just want to explore. They want mm. to explore. And they want to explore in a way that they don't bring shame home. Mm. They are not hiding it. They want to be bold enough to say, okay, everybody here is legitimate within. And I can so take she care encourage of that. So that. And they manage it. Then they try. Yeah. You say I've come again. Then they try. There's consequences. Me, I like to mm. talk Thank about you. consequences. Because we are victims of the decisions that we take. Mm -hmm. Yes. So whilst you are doing all of that to be polygamous and can you manage it when the chips are down? Then they try. Very Some important. Of them. Yeah, they try. And so also as a woman. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. if you're saying that a guy that I'm married to legally is not doing this thing for me, maybe if we are I'm in a society that allows polyandry, as you said, right mm. here, if I go somewhere else. Oh, just for satisfaction. Can I handle the consequences? What if I just go and get pregnant? Because uh -huh. back in the day, we had really mummies who had about three, four, five so husbands. So, Africans, Africa, children. we explored this Nepal option. and parts of China, that's where um, you go, Tibet. Yeah. Some women, I have one in my own family, a very close relative of mine. When she started aging, I don't want to mention which side of the device she's on, because I'm on live TV. When she started aging, she thought of the option of a younger, stronger person. Was she? For her husband. She went out. She married a new wife mm. for her husband. Oh. So we don't see him. There's nothing new under the sun. Mm. She thought, I, I can no longer do this. You know, I'd just rather be excused. And the young girl came, satisfied okay. the old man well enough to become competition because now they enter the private room. Thank you, Nima, for taking me there. So for a woman who is complaining about this, my question, therefore, is that can't she just find somebody else for my husband? If you feel that me, I can't handle this thing. I cannot I find, find somebody, else, my somebody else for my husband. <laughs> if my husband wants to be fine, he can go on exploration. <laughs> but me, I cannot use my hand to find for him, right? No, because me, I can't. If, you, if, if me as a person, I'm having trouble in that area. Can I say, well, can't you go and learn? What about me? I'm, very, I'm a very pious Christian. I don't like that thing. I'm, I just, I think, I think it's, it's a very, it's a sin. It's just, it's too. All this you're asking me and do this. Well, I can't. Mm. This is can't, 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 can't jump on the fan. I can't do this thing. Shadow. Shadow. Let me go and find one sister. Mm. Yeah, do at least. Can't, can't, can't. can't if it's a sin for you, then it's a sin for you to find to find a sister to help your husband. No, no, no. No, no, but he can find it himself. He can find it. There's no sin in him finding it himself. There is. It's just wrong. Is there a sin? It's wrong. There's no sin. Ah, uh, it's not. He's cheating on his wife. Cheating yeah. on. No. Ah. Uh, uh, 
And then why should you be the one to hate into the house? this cheating? If you accept it, that's, that's, what's Mike, wrong about no, that? No, we do not say bring into the house. You can marry a second wife. Don't, okay. No, that is the bring into the house. That's, that's it. Is the problem. Problem. process of marrying marry another call. wife. Don't bring don't into the house. If you don't have me, it can't be the same thing. You just marry someone. Listen, my voice. Remember, Sister this Mary, 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 Mary and Sister Josephine. Right. Yes. Now let's leave Josephine. Sister Mary. Mary. <laughs> Sister Mary is totally pious. She doesn't mm. like all this. She doesn't even. In fact, mm -hmm. she has heard it by in her church that this, this thing is even a sin. It's too mm. much. It's only just missionary, missionary and allowed. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But now the other is now is trying to, and she's like, I can't do all these things. Mm. This is the fact. At that place, I've not even shaved. I'm not. I don't. Please, I don't do anything. Please, just. Mm. Just don't do anything. Sister Mary should have been a nun. Was Mary, exactly. So her sister destiny is not me. married. I have one sister. <laughs> sister. <laughs> I have one sister. Give me a quick. Sister Agnes. Sister Agnes. Okay. Sorry. Agnes uh, and Mary are related. Sister I, Susie. Sister Susie. Mm -hmm. I want Sister Susie like, okay, Sister Susie, please, can you help me? That all this flipping around that my husband is asking me, please, can you help me give it to him? At least I'm seeing the marriage. Yeah. I can focus on my God. Yeah. But there's a problem I have, Sister, Sister Mary. Mary. She's not teaching our husband now. to... Uh, yeah, no, 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 cheating. That's not the problem. Cheating is not the problem. When Sister Mary has brought Susie inside, she will not tell Susie that you have limited yes. uh, rules and regulations. Uh, Mm. She's she, America, she's no bound to give Susie. Susie. She's bound to give Susie. Yes, yes. because there's a level Susie will take Oga. You go collect Oga her. Oga will, will follow Susie. Then Sister Mary should go back and read her Bible. Yes. <laughs> tell us where Why the not Bible. Go to school? If mission, if it's only missionary that is permitted, then how is okay. that other one permitted? Okay. Oh, that's another angle. Mm. What is permitted in this marriage? Oh, yeah. oh everything. Is we everything cannot is finish that. this conversation. Yeah. But at least when you it's talk a, about missionary but in marriage, the, chapter what? Verse what? No, there, there were no descriptions hey, on that. No. In the Bible. So, they just so said, you can't keep talk the about bed it. on the file. On so the file. How you that, define mean, the no, file. that means no. whatever is agreed between, between two both partners of you. Yes. Yes. is okay they in the manipulated bed. No, we're not manipulating anything. No. Keep the bed on the file. Whatever two of us agree that that's what we're going to I do. He said, Mount, you used to worship God. He said, Mount, you used to worship God and praise God and fast. He said, Mount, what we used to do some certain things in the other room, which is illegal. Only God used the mouth. Which is Hey, you know you know the it's it's you know so far it's between, between both of you. <laughs> Every part of the agreement. Mm -hmm. mm. Then I think it's yeah. Fine. As long as you agree, so far it enhances in part of your pleasure. Mm. Mm. Enal is forbidden. Every other yes. part of your even in Christianity, enal is forbidden. Hey, Satisfaction. It's not that we used to worship God. We should just you should not use it for anything. It's only man. Outside part of your body, not outside chapter what verse what. Is the defiance? Did we drink a bowl? Or not? Is it you drink that or not? Let me take this. Do you <laughs> eat or not? Hello, you're live. Thanks for calling. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, I think I should go and do thanksgiving you for getting to. It's very easy to make a good dance and to be on your program. Oh. <laughs> That's very important. Sorry, Mr. Festus. It's very easy to do. To get to heaven. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, it's only contentment that is necessary in relationship. There is no, uh, how do I put it? Uh, there is no level to special satisfaction. You are only happy with somebody because that's the level of your exposure. Mm. As soon as you are all sitting down, and we carry out what is called swapping. Some of you will regret that you have been sitting out since. Honestly. But right now you are happy with your spouse. It's because of your level of uh, yes. exposure. Yes, sir. Now, Coming to the issue on ground, it happened in the Bible. Sarah looked for somebody for Abraham yes. because of uh, yes. child uh, related mm -hmm. uh, matter. Yeah. It's not only said that can make a woman to go and look for somebody. Yeah. In the East, it's part of their culture yes. in Igbo land. Yeah. It's part of their culture. You go out and yeah. look for somebody. Nice. If your, son, your father does not have the male. HIV, that is the but or you marry a man that, that has no, you have no issue, you go and marry another woman for for, for that uh, man. And any children oh, from that second woman belongs to the yeah. uh, elderly woman. That's the first wife. That's the way they do it. It's culturally allowed. Thank you, sir. Come in yeah. here. Go ahead. So, <laughs> I also think that um, 
it's not only, like I mentioned earlier, it's not only the um, other side, or the, the bedroom that makes a man want to go outside. Sometimes uh, they are married to women who now become full of themselves. They have grown, they have risen to a certain level, and they just treat them anyhow. Uh, Uncle Gwang, go to the kitchen and take your food. Uh, please, I'm busy. Uh, I have people I'm attending to. I'm working so hard. They are the boss in their offices. They are the business guru and all of that. When they come home too, they continue in that boss energy. And the man is just feeling like, I no longer have a companion. I need somebody who will come back, who will listen to me, my, the travails of my day, you know, talk to me, at least we'll hug before we sleep and all of that. Are you sure I shouldn't be looking at yeah. getting other people? And because we, especially in this part of the world, we are religious. Some people don't want to go out try to say, I want to marry a second wife. That's why we now have them having side chicks who would give them those uh, benefits that they want because they can't come out. And sometimes they also hide it from the woman. So you okay. do your bossy thing, yeah. but I have somebody that just takes care of me. Well, BC, on this show, we've had women who say that I'm married to a minister who is always on the mountain and mm -hmm. doesn't, uh, doesn't satisfy me. And I feel like a sinner. Yeah. Asking for it, for it or even yeah. raising it at all. Yeah. You've seen people who are like mommy geo level, maybe, or maybe, um, you know, the high level where, yeah. listen, they just accepted their faith. And as Waike said, for their entire life, 60 years, 70 years, yeah. they've never gone to Jerusalem. They've mm. never hit that, mm. that note. That they've not hit that note. Mm. So, in that kind of situation, and, but they know they are suffering, but they've chosen mm. to stay to carry with that this. cross. Mm. So, you, this is me. Wow. And now, be wicked to everybody. Yeah, yes. no, you don't have to be. Yeah, you should <laughs> no, be very careful. They, they need to vent. Yes. 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 No, they have to vent. They don't they give me make you story story because right. you haven't met them. Yes, it's let not me give you small story. So that my it's first gym, place of work immediately after NYSC, there was this lady we were working with that was always aggressive. She would fight. She would bite. She was not even aggressive. Aggressive is mild. She was wicked. She would see you in your. Uh, period, you know, with all the pains and everything, she will still insult you. If you're not ready to work, resign. It wasn't her work. Oh. All of us were working together, but she was, you know, like a supervisor. So she was very mean. Fast forward, we realized that there was, I think um, her relationship crashed somehow, vacuum. and she was not here. There was a vacuum and everything. All of a sudden, one fine bubble will come in the evenings to visit this sister. Mm. Mm. Sister, you your change. change. Wow. She was mm. there smiling. She was not helpful. Ah, ah I've seen those times before. Take a day off. Oh, oh, take, you take, a day off. <laughs> take a day off. Me? Are you talking to me? Everything <laughs> just <laughs> changed. And see what happened. She had started collecting. Mm. Okay, talk to you. Correct. Co collecting. She correct. was collecting correct. Yeah. You know, because there is incorrect and, there's and correct. correct. The incorrect, we make them correct. be wicked. Ah, ah when so you go and meet them in their offices like yeah, this, they will do like this. Well, if you are looking for a contract, you won't get that contract. Never. You know those sister you charity. You come looking smart. Me, so you, 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 is you, 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 Yes. But you see, I know me, I know that my she own mom G is, is not involved in all these things. <laughs> I know she's not, she's happy. They play. She's happy. She see her, she's very kind. She's wow. not a, but I know she's Morayo. not doing that. Or that if anybody hey! don't forget her many Morayo, years past. The thing yes. that I've experienced, wow. the, yes. the small I've seen, so if you're reaching that age, holiness, and you close that chapter, uh, you have invited Nima. sickness you cannot handle. Mm. You'll just be having headache today, back pain Waste tomorrow. Pain You'll be tomorrow. having Nima, Nima, let me tell you something. When I was in my 30s, like you people are in your 30s and early 40s. Mm -hmm. eh? I used to think that people 60, 70, like they, like they, that they won't do that kind they of thing. They don't do that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. She'll be about 64. Almost I, mean, 63. That I don't even know my age. Yeah, 62. 64. I'm 62, okay, to going 62. to 63. Yeah, eh? That's 64 now. But I'm 63 that's now. That's right. I'm going to be 63 right. in okay. three months. Correct? You're just collecting. In 63, I'm 63. Well, answer my question. Are you so, correct? Are you so, do you and I were discussing it on Saturday? <laughs> You know, when we were young, we used to think that at this age, you do that stuff. I said, ah, me and you, we are going to be doing it in 70 something. Oh, shit! I can't power! Are you just collecting or collecting correct? Collecting correct. Does she look like she's not collecting correct? Look at me. Do I look like I will be collecting incorrect? Not allowed! Not allowed! Not allowed! Chukwa Adjoka! Well, Obumo Laiman says the issue of satisfaction is mostly based on the fact that people compare spouses to exes. Orgasm is satisfaction. Some people can achieve it doping. 
or foreplay. Mm. Okay. Sexual we fantasies cannot be. Okay. That's what we can take on today's show. You know, I mean, I hope we have to But I think in a nutshell, as I said before, communication is important. Especially those of you who are Christians or Muslims, it's important for you to adhere. And I think there's a there's a message from Ambassador Ayo Olukan. He said, Mariah, please we discuss this issue, please let us remember our Christian values. The Bible injunction, book of Isaiah, verse 1. He says, when that time comes, seven women will grab hold of one man and say, we can. Okay, I guess we're trying to move the point. But the point is that, please communicate with your spouses mm. and be ready to take on the consequences of whatever action that you, you take. You take. That's all we can take. And we wish show. you collecting correct. We, we wish hope. Amen. amen. <laughs> Those of you that are collecting correct, amen. Please, amen. We don't pray for you. Correct. I, 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 and the fact let's that let's become the white man. Ah, ah, okay. yes. yes. Raise your hand. The, the fact, hand. fact that you're a Christian does not mean you should not no, collect. Collect correct. Correct. Collect. You're married and you're a Christian. Collect correct. Very well from your husband or your wife is very allowed. So collect very correctly. Let's raise your hands. Collect. And then I need to collect, collect correct. correct. And pray, we pray for all of you to collect, collect correct. correct. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>